Well, hello everyone. Uh, coming to you this time from uh, our basement here in our house. I hope you all are doing well and um, staying healthy in this time. And uh, just wanted to come and share another little devotional today. Uh, but first, just wanted to uh, just give you a couple of uh, updates about things and um, maybe just some helpful hints as far as you're looking for content that we're putting out. Uh, I want to keep directing you to our we uh, website uh, so that you can find uh, some of our services and other things like this that we're putting out. Uh, if you go to that Watch Live uh, tab at the top of our website, click on it. You can find there uh, that each day or we're going to be replaying some of our uh, previous week's services. Uh, they're not on demand there. In other words, you can't just uh, click and start one when you want. But you can see there there's a little tab that says Schedule. You can see when each service will be playing from which week. And so hopefully if you missed one, you can go back click on it and see it. Um, also on our website, you see there's a COVID-19 resources page. There's all kinds of things. If you click on that, devotionals like this, there's old messages, uh, there's helpful ideas for other things. So just please go, keep going to our website, looking there. There's some things also on, on Facebook as well, but primarily everything is, is on our website uh, that you'll be looking for. Uh, today, I just wanted to read a couple words from the book of Philippians chapter four. I know that uh, there's a lot of anxiety we're all feeling in different ways at this time, uh, maybe for a lot of different reasons. And thought of this passage, just wanted to read it and just share a couple of quick thoughts today with you about it. So this is Philippians 4, verses 4 through 7. Or excuse me, verses 4 through 7, yes. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. So just a, a couple of things here. Obviously, this well-known passage urges us to be rejoicing in the Lord in all circumstances. And um, we face all kinds of different circumstances. We're facing a very unique one right now in our country and in our world. And um, the example I always think of in connection with this is the example of water. Uh, you think of water and what happens is you put it to different circumstances. So you put it to the circumstance of a freezer and it becomes solid. Uh, put it under the circumstance of heat on the stove and of course it can become steam, becomes gas. Uh, put it just at room temperature, it's that liquid water. Um, in different circumstances, water adjusts uh, to those circumstances, but it never stops being what it is, H2O, it's not water. That fundamental uh, piece of who it is doesn't change. And I think as we think of this time and this passage about rejoicing in the Lord, that's really the calling for us. And there's different circumstances in our lives we face, the circumstance we're facing now, uh, but we're supposed to remain joyful in the Lord. Our identity is rooted in Him. So no matter how the circumstances might change, that fundamental shouldn't change. But in the midst of that, we maybe adapt to our different circumstances. We um, adjust to the situation we're in. Like we're adjusting how we worship together now or maybe how we gather uh, for this time being. But it doesn't change that primarily our, our joy is in the Lord. And uh, the passage really talks about how that shows up. Um, and when we fundamentally don't change, how we're generous. Um, the passage says that we're, we're gentle um, to all and Really, that gentleness means that we're looking not just at ourselves, but at those around us and how we can meet the needs of others. And again, that points back to who we are in Christ. Uh, it talks about being uh, not anxious. And uh, we know we're going to have some anxiety, but the passage here talks about not being anxious. So anxiety not being fundamental to who we are, rather joy being fundamental. We're not driven by our anxiety. That's not who we are in Christ. And so while we deal with that um, in prayer, is really where the passage points us, that's where the anxiety gets replaced by joy. As we're with the Lord, as we know he is near, uh, as we're reminded how we are uh, identified with him, uh, then that anxiety goes down. And uh, so that's replaced and filled instead by that joy. And then the passage talks, too, about uh, being guarded by God's presence as it closes. And what a beautiful picture. Philippi, uh, the city that Paul was writing to, is a city guarded by Roman garrisons. And uh, the reminder here is that God's holy army, as it were, surrounds us, protects us uh, in all circumstances, no matter where we are, and gives us his peace. 
And uh, so, friends, just that reminder that as we're in this different circumstances, we might feel that anxiety rising, that we're guarded by the peace of God in Christ, that it's the garrison surrounding us, and that uh, we keep going back to that identity we have in Jesus Christ. And that because of that, uh, we can have joy in, in any circumstances in the Lord because of what he's done for us in Jesus Christ. So just a quick reminder today of of God's word and the joy he gives to us. And I just want to have a word of prayer as we close. Father, we thank you so much for uh, the joy we can have in you every day. We thank you for, uh, Lord, being with us in different circumstances. And we pray that we would know you're with us, you're near right now. Lord, keep us turning to you in prayer. Uh, Keep us being gentle in the way we treat each other, uh, whether it's just at home in our families and our communities. Uh, in this time, in this different circumstance. Uh, Lord, help us to see and know that you are guarding us, surrounding us with your peace in Christ, that uh, you protect us in every way that our life truly rests with you. Uh, Lord, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, peace be with all of you. Hope to see you again soon.